Hey, baby. Hi, guys. How's everybody doing on this fabulous Sunday afternoon? I'm feeling great. You guys know. There's me talking and makeup. We're in business. So today's video, I'm going to be doing a little tutorial for you guys on this eye look right here. It is a rose gold halo eye and mm, mm, I have been living for it. I, it's kind of been my go-to look for the past couple weeks and it's super duper simple. You know, when I used to watch things like cut creases and double cut creases and halo eyes, I used to be like, oh my god, like, that's just so many steps and so many products and so much I gotta do and I don't know if it's gonna come out good and like, oh my god. But then I found my own way and I found the light and this is super duper easy. So if you're someone that's intimidated by makeup or you know, intimidated about doing something um, you think is a little more advanced, like a smoky halo uh, rose gold eye, then um, keep on watching because I'm going to break it down for you and I'm going to show you how you can look as good as me. Oh, a long time no see. So I've already primed my eyes and done my eyebrows. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of silk cream and this is where I'm really going to start shaping out where I want this halo to go. So I'll be focusing on the outer corner and I'm gonna start packing on the inner corner. I'm gonna pack and then I'm gonna start blending it out, kind of following the natural curvature of my eye, kind of going along with the socket as you can see. So, like, I'm not bringing the inner corner part as high up as the outer corner part. And I'm just going to take a little bit more and just keep deepening it up. That is what this is all about. You guys know, if you've watched my tutorials, it is all about deepening up each color. Now, with that same M441, I'm going to go right in with the shade MEFO. Again, I am just deepening it up, following the natural curvature of the eye, kind of patting and blending, patting and blending. Now I'm going to go in with Pooter, and I'm just going to keep doing the same thing, kind of just building it up and building it up. Remember, you cannot subtract people. You can only add. So you definitely want to keep building when you find that good, like, medium. Now I'm going to go in a shade of Pukey. Blech. Ah, just kidding. I'm going to blow off a little bit of the excess, and again, I am just keep deepening, leaving that center nice and open. Now I'm switching to the E27 brush, and I'm just going to go in with Pukey and kind of go a little bit lower and deepen up these creases. You guys already know, we are putting that in the outer corner. And I am just going to pick up some buns with the E17 and just again, just keep darkening it up. But a little bit lower and lower every time till I get closer and closer to that lash line. y'all are tired of seeing this damn Jacqueline Hill palette. <laughs> so I am actually going to bust out the Juvia's Place Masquerade Mini Palette and I'm going to tap into the shade Burkina and we are just going to light that crease on fire with color. I mean this is like the 100 layer eyeshadow challenge for real. This is what this is turning into right now. <laughs> Uh, M441 brush. It is my tried and true blending brush and just soften up those edges. Then I'm going to go back into the Juvia's Place palette and I'm going to barely touch the color Fulani and I'm just going to dab this in my outer corner. Just again, deepening it up and deepening it up. Oh, hey girl, we're going to bust out the NYX glitter primer. I love this because even though it's not like a loose pigment glitter, it really helps to brighten up and kind of really deepen up and really build that shimmer color. So I'm just going to dab this in the center where I'm going to put my glitter. And now comes the fun part. I'm going into the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm picking up this shade called SBN. I do not know what the hell that stands for. I can't remember. But it's a beautiful rose gold shade that I really hadn't been using up until now. So I'm just going to give it a little shimmy and I'm just going to start packing this back and forth. I'm going to dip into it again and then I'm going to swipe it across my lid after that. Just building up this beautiful shimmer. Oh, this is stunning. Oh, golden silver who? Oh no, baby. It's all about the rose gold. You guys know I'm all about the blending and the softening, so I'm just going to go back in with my M441 and just kind of blend out that top part where the shimmer is to make sure that it's not so harsh on the top. 
Then I'm gonna go back into my Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm gonna pick up a little bit of Silk Cream and I'm gonna use this to start blending out to just kind of pull each of them together. Now we're going back to Juvia's place and I'm gonna take this E17 and go right into that shade Burkina again and buff this right along the lower lash line, kind of concentrating on the outer part and only pulling it inner a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna go back to the Jaclyn Hill palette with my E17, and I'm gonna dip into the shade Silk Cream and Pukey and just put that on the lower lash line and really bring it really, really far down. I'm really gonna smoke, 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 okay? To really pull that down, kind of even out the top to the bottom. It looks really pretty. It's not something I normally do for sure, but it looks really good. Okay, now I'm going to grab my little bullet brush, my little E27, and I'm going to go into Blanc Type. Ugh, this is like one of my favorite shades. I'm just going to dab in there twice and just use it to highlight the brow bone. A matte brow highlight looks so good. It also helps to diffuse the edges on the top as well. Okay, guys, so now I'm going to go do my other eye. I'm going to beat this face, and I will be right back. Oh, hey, girl. Oh, you look amazing. <laughs> so now I'm going to help finish out the look by doing a liquid lipstick and highlighter and setting spray. So the liquid lipstick I'm going to use is the Jeffree Star liquid lipstick in the shade Sugar Cookie. This has easily become like my most favorite nude. I love his liquid lipsticks. They're amazing. So I'm just going to put this right on my lips. No lip liner, no lip gloss, no nothing, because I want the focus to really be the eyes. But I just love this shade. It's so, so, so pretty. Mm. Okay, now I'm taking a brand new product, the Anastasia Amorizi Highlighter, you guys. Oh, she blandy. Yeah, she is. This highlighter is beautiful, you guys. I honestly can't even explain to you how good this is. You have to buy it. Um, it just sinks right into the skin. It's blinding AF. It goes with so many skin tones. It's so easy to use. I'm just like... Oh my god, I'm in love. I am in freaking love. And you know what? You know how you wear highlighters? The more I wear this highlighter, the more it just looks better over time with the skin. And again, I am just putting a little on the cupid's bow, on the tip of my nose, and on the bridge of my nose, up above my eyebrows, just highlighting this whole face. I really want to look wet and dewy and just fabulous. Okay, now I'm going to go back in with my little E27 bullet brush. I'm going to go in with the highlighter, and I'm just going to highlight my inner corner and slightly above my brow bone. This is the best little brush for, like, brow bone and inner corner highlights. I'm just, I'm obsessed. Now, what look wouldn't be complete without completely bathing myself in Coconut MAC Fix Plus? Because I just feel like I have to use the coconut one. Okay. Uh, I just, this look turned out so amazing. I look so good. I am totally feeling myself. You guys know I film myself in every damn video I film. That's not new. But yeah, I really enjoyed doing this. Oh my gosh, you guys. That is it. We made it through. I'm so proud of you. I hope you guys liked this kind of rose gold halo eye. I've been loving this look. I love that the... Um, the rose gold isn't too much of a contrast. I really like that it kind of blends in with the matte colors. So it just gives it that subtle, like, glow to bring the eye up. And I just think it looks so stunning. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like my videos, then please subscribe and like and do all that stuff to promote me so I can, like, get cool and get a lot of subscribers and get famous and, like, have money and, like, but seriously, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.